much a vital part of California's radio broadcast. We knew each other back in Eugene. Got rid of all those green and gold outfits, and now, now you're all tied to blue and gold. That's exactly. It. No green and gold, no orange and black. That's all uh, lost. It's gone. So uh, it's blue and gold. Tell me about this California football team right now. They come off a great win, and they seem to have really righted the ship after a couple of tough weeks. You remember a couple of years ago, Barry, the, the Bears were in the conference that they were 5-0, and then they lost that devastating game to Oregon State where uh, Kevin Roddy made a mistake in the end of the game, and the, the season just collapsed from that point on. Well, this year, similar in that they got waxed pretty good in Eugene and got beaten very badly by USC, so a lot of people were wondering what would happen to this team. Well, I think they've shown their mettle this year. They really have bounced back and are on a little uh, stretch right now where uh, they're back in the national rankings and playing well. You know what I think is really important? I mean, they've beaten the teams they're supposed to beat, and I don't think really going into this season, there are a lot of people, I'm sure Cal folks thought, but as somebody who covers the conference, I wasn't so sure Cal was going to beat Oregon under any circumstances. And when they got USC, USC was playing pretty well. They were good at that point in time. As we look at the conference standings now, Oregon and Oregon State, first time in the history of that series. That is hard to imagine. Isn't that amazing? They were that game, both teams. The winner of that game goes to the Rose Bowl. Stanford, a great season. But California with an opportunity, Barry, to finish in a tie for second place. Let's talk about Job at best. Uh, rumor has it that he will play next Saturday in Seattle. What's the latest? What do you hear? Well, I hear the same thing, and we'll find out more this week from Coach Tedford. The team actually has a, a practice today, kind of a walkthrough today, and then they're off on Monday, and then Tuesday, the first practice. We'll know more after today. Uh, it'd be great to see him back, but Shane Vereen, you talk about stepping in and picking up the slack. He's more than certainly done that. You know what's really interesting to me, and I love Job at best. I think he's a wonderful running back. But I do think Cal is more balanced with Shane Vereen as the running back because they're not relying on Kevin Riley to win the football game. I think you're right. And I think Shane Vereen's actually maybe a little bit better in the receiving end of things. Heaven forbid if he ever tries to throw another pass because I don't think we'll see that this year, Barry, based on what we saw at Arizona State. But, yeah, when, when uh, Shane is in there, the balance of attack, when Javits in there, it's like he's got to get the ball. you got to feed him. Well, you got to feed him, and they're putting eight and nine in the box and just saying, go ahead if you're going to beat us. It ain't going to be Javits best that beats us. It's going to be Kevin Riley. You know, and it's, it's ironic that a couple of weeks ago when Javits got hurt, everybody said, you know, Cal's streak of 1,000-yard rushers is going to come to an end. Well, Shane goes out and puts a buck at 93 on Stanford. If he averages about 130 in the last two games, he gets 1,000 yards. Well, watch him closely next year because I think he's going to be he a guy. Chance. Todd, thanks very much for being with us. That's Todd McCamp. Todd, incidentally, did an outstanding job on the radio. Job and Vest got injured. That's one of the toughest jobs a broadcaster can have. He handled it under